Hello, Cancer. My name is Missy, and I am here to read some astro runes for the month of August. We're going to go ahead and get right into the reading to keep these videos as short as possible. What we're going to do is pull some cards to get a general energy for the month, and then we will pull charms to see what the details are and read those charms as a candidate reading. Let me do one more shuffle and then we'll go ahead and go right into it. Okay, so you've got perseverance. And abundance. Oh, your perseverance is going to bring abundance. Look at that. Perseverance is the number four. Abundance is the number 88. Um, it could, could mean you could need to have compassion in this situation, but I don't know. I think whatever this perseverance, like you, the, the effort, the, um, the effort that you're putting in, the willpower that you have to continue to fight for whatever you're trying to you know, create, manifest, do whatever, it's going to come back to manifest at least double because, you know, the double of four would be eight, but, you know, maybe four times again, like, um, because we have two eights, like double and then double again, right? So from four to eight to 16, because eight plus eight is 16 with this particular card here. All right. So let me... Give this a good quick shuffle, even though I have shuffled them before. We're just going to do it real quick. Yeah. Pull some cards and some charms. One more. There it is, right there. Well, apparently you've got two that want to come out. Oh, we've got the Queen of Cups. That's your card um, uh, coming out on the bottom of the deck. So this abundance is definitely for you. Oh, interesting. Okay, so where you felt trapped, right? Um, especially if it comes to a collaboration with someone else, like maybe you felt like sort of trapped as in you, you don't have any choice, but to collaborate with someone, or maybe you feel, um, as if this collaboration with someone has been a, a difficult one. The fact that you are persevering through it anyway, is actually going to be very abundant for you personally with these particular cards here. So very positive energy. Let's go ahead and get some charms. Stick to my finger. And it's interesting because I thought we had a lot of charms in this one and it was only just a couple. Okay, so in the very center of your reading, you've got the mouse, which talks about like small frustration, uh, small frustrating problems. So that's going to be your focus for the month of August is all of these small frustrating problems. Um, I think you're, you know, you're, it's sucking the joy out of it for you. All, all of this having to work with whoever this person is that's causing these problems is sucking the joy out of it for you because you've got the, the rune of joy in the reverse. Um, you know, you've got the letters L and the letter U uh, on the board. So take those however they resonate for your situation. The letter L can be a person, place, or thing that's in your blind spot that will affect you in the month of August that maybe you don't don't see coming or that you're trying to hide from someone else um, that, you know, is causing you to lose some joy. Whatever, whatever it is, there's no more fun. Maybe, um, you know, like there's no, you're, you're, it, there, you're not finding any value in this, but there is value. You're just not having fun with it. I don't know why I'm struggling to get that out. So in the third house, you've got the frog. 
So the frog jumps from lily pad to lily pad, right? Which means, and it's a water, watery uh, um, animal. He lives in the water. So this is all about emotions. Uh, he did come out in the reverse like this, right? So when he comes out upside down, he's not, he's, you know, it's, his emotions are not the greatest. So it's kind of a, a caution of, you know, do not jump to conclusions in, in turn with, you know, it, in any communication, whether it's someone talking to you or you're relaying something to someone else, try not to jump to conclusions in any situation that involves a person, place, or thing with the letter U. Um, and then when we come to the fifth house, which is your house of creativity, love, or excuse me, creativity, fun, romance, children, uh, joy, all, all things, you know, happy, happy. You've got the moon and stars. Uh, also, the, you've got the Saturn. See that little tiny Saturn right there? Um, so there's some sort of lesson, but I feel like, like, you know, with the stars here, that's, very positive energy. Um, like maybe you're not seeing, um, you're not seeing the potential of your creativity or something because of Saturn there. Like there's some lesson here, um, attached to your creativity in some way. Um, and then again, you've got the sun upside down, um, which the sun is all about bringing clarity, joy to a situation and that's sitting over, you know, the house that has to do with your work. So that, you know, there's no joy. Um, and, but I think with this one coming out upside down, I think you're not seeing the potential of your own creativity. I can't, I don't know why I can't stress that enough. Um, for the eighth, ninth and 10th houses, you've got this particular key, which is the key to faith. So the eighth house has to do with joint resources. The ninth house has to do with your own higher self, like um, higher values, higher higher education, higher um, higher legal courts, right? Like you know, um, think of like um, spiritual uh, matters, right? Uh, and and I say that because this key talks about the key to faith, but, you know, keeping your faith, keeping your spiritual, um, faith when it comes to career and joint resources and all of this joy being sucked out of your work life and all of that kind of stuff is very important with this particular key because this, the prayer that comes with this key says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Live with compassion every day. Your faith holds the key to unlock God's plans. May blessings come down your way. So have faith. Again, when it comes to like your, your social circle and what's hidden from you, you've got the starfish upside down. The starfish is, you know, another watery animal. But it's a beautiful animal that catches a lot of attention. It's one of those, it's like one of the most popular, you know, like everybody wishes they could have a starfish, right? Like, especially if you find one as a kid, like you get so excited because you don't realize that it's dead by the time you find it or that it used to be alive. And once you really, like, once you learn that it's an actual sea creature, it's very exciting, right? But this was in the up, in the reverse. Um, I feel like you don't see your own potential, like you don't see your own your own, um, like your own worth, your own, uh, popularity maybe with your friends. There's something about like, you're not seeing the joy, the potential, the something. And I think it's because of all of the stress related to this work job, uh, situation where you have to collaborate with someone that you just don't want to. So I hope that resonates. I'm going to go ahead and leave that here. If it does not resonate, please stick around or maybe another reading for you here on the channel that does. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, whatever you can to help me get my channel out there as I am new here. And I thank you for watching.